St. Edmund, Archbishop of Canterbury, 1242, Pontigny Provence Champagne. St. Edmund Rich was born at Abingdon, and sent to the University of Oxford, where he excelled as fellows both in grace and learning. Thence he went to Paris, where he completed his studies, and became Doctor of Divinity with great distinction. He returned home and taught at Oxford, working meanwhile as a missionary in the country round about, and at last was forced by the common wish of all men, and against his own wishes and protests, to take the supreme dignity of Archbishop of Canterbury. He slept very little, and that, not in a bed, but either sitting or reclining, and for thirty-six years, only when overpowered by the weakness of nature. With such watching he joined extreme scantiness of food, and spent all the rest of his time in prayer, reading, and good works. He would neither touch money nor look at it, unless it were perchance what his hands were putting into those of the poor. He was very diligent in hearing confessions, and preached very often, neither was it his eloquence only but his holy character which moved his hearers. The lines of Edmund fell in a time when the troubles of state and church were alike great, and hardly to be believed. When he had exhausted his persuasion in vain upon the king, and found that his presence rather embittered than softened the evil state of things, he went to France that he might live at Pontigny alone with God. There he fell grievously sick, and when he had earnestly received the sacraments of the church to prepare himself for death, he happily fell asleep in the Lord at Soissons in the year 1232. Four years afterwards Pope Innocent IV enrolled his name among those of the saints. O Remus! O God, who in the abundance of thy goodness towards thy church hast made her bright by the illustrious life of thy blessed confessor and bishop Edmund, and gladdened her by his glorious and wondrous works, mercifully grant unto thy servants, that they may be bettered in following after his ensample, and shielded by his protection against all things that may rise up against us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ thy Son, who liveth and reigneth with thee, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God world without end. Amen.